Hello world, <clears throat> excuse me, hello world. It is Thursday, August 12th, 2021. And uh, right at the moment it's sunny out, but uh, I think it's gonna be quite unsettled day today with more occasional thunderstorms, especially this afternoon and another heat advisory. So it's gonna be a hot and humid day yet again. The devotion for today is entitled, I am suffering, hear me roar, written by Vicki Kemper. And Vicki bases the devotion upon Job chapter 13, verses 3 through 5, New Revised Standard Version. I would speak to the Almighty, and I desire to argue my case with God. As for you, you whitewash with lies. All of you are worthless physicians. If you would only keep silent, that would be your wisdom. And Vicki writes, it's not often that we find a lifetime's worth of lessons packed into three short verses of scripture, so here's the story. Job's life has fallen to pieces. In short order, this righteous man has lost to natural disasters. Read Acts of God. All his livestock and servants, his seven sons, and his three daughters. He is devastated, but he remains faithful. And Job, uh, Job gets sick in the most miserable way. Still, he refuses to curse God. Enter Job's so-called friends. In an effort to comfort Job, or Job, they offer variations on a theme of false, soul-crunching theology. A. Everything happens for a reason. B. Everyone gets what they deserve. C. You must be a bad person. And D. God is punishing you. To which Job replies, Stop torturing me with lies. Stop talking. I'm broken. And I'm going to give God a piece of my mind. And so he does, giving the rest of us a master class in suffering and consolation. Lesson one, the best way to comfort someone is with your presence. If you really must speak, say, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. Two, when life gives you lemons, take it up with the one who created them. You honor God and you help yourself when you express your anger and anguish, your disappointment, doubt, and fear. Three, bad things happen to good people, and it's neither God's doing nor your fault. And the prayer. Even as I shake my fist at you, Holy One, and fold me in your heart. Amen. Well, this devotion for me brings up a, a number of good points. One is that, of course, bad things do happen to good people. And it, um, it's not God's fault. It's not your fault. And not everything happens for a reason. Um, it's just life. Job is an example of that. Um, Ecclesiastes even more so. Life just happens. Um, don't blame things on God. And likewise, I think, don't um, look at good things as necessarily blessings from God. Because the minute, for me, the minute I start thinking about how blessed I am, that means someone who doesn't have what I have is cursed. That doesn't seem right. Um, and I think it's also important to remember, as she points out, that uh, the best way to comfort someone when they're struggling is to be present with them and to listen to them, not to tell them it's going to be all right, not to... to um, point out all the things that are positive that they're missing or overlooking, but just being present with them and listening to them and asking them how you can help them. Because um, trying to make excuses for something that's happened, trying to um, lay blame or deflect um, isn't, isn't always very helpful in that regard. So just be present. And I think help them to remember that even in the midst of pain, they are loved. Because that's the way God is. God still loves us in the midst of our pain. And sometimes um, we have a hard time seeing that or hearing that or knowing that. And that's okay. And it's okay to get angry and scream and yell at God. God's shoulders are big enough to take it. I hope you have a good day. Hope you stay dry. Hope you stay hydrated. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow.